Alrighty, that's what we're looking for. Do you think we want those? They're kind of nice. They're kind of nice. All I'll, right. I'll grab them. If you uh, put this stuff here in the truck, I'll go pay for these. Alright, here's a couple more things. What are we getting here? I don't know, paper. I always like to open any paper. Now look at that suggest success digest. Maybe she's good at reading. I'm so excited. <laughs> we found our chairs. You're finding all sorts Two of things. Oh, yeah, I get lots of good stuff today. I love that line. I mean, some of them cameras are doing a Yeah, I'll do 100 for all that. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Good. Without even looking through them. Two bucks for these is always a good price. Yeah. <coughs> I'm just loading this stuff up. Try to get it all so we can get up to the truck in one. Oh, to the car in one load. <laughs> that was $245 well spent. Oh, a spark hit in this one. But anyway, it didn't matter. It was about that big. Or maybe a little spark hit in this one. Alrighty. All right, so we found this essential oils kit, and we, you know, Kathy, found this essential <laughs> oils kit, and you know, she said, "Oh, these can be pretty pricey." So we looked it up, and we've got them selling for seventy-five to a hundred, and basically a hundred plus or minus. So we got it for five dollars. So good find, hon. Thank you. All right, hey everyone, this is John. Just got back from the yard sailing and estate sailing weekend. We spent more money than usual. We spent about $305 and I think we have about $2,900 in inventory. Some really cool stuff. So take a look. I'll show you what we found. All right. So one of the first things we found, this was framed. It was $5. And I thought it was just a neat little poster from this Brennan's restaurant in Houston, Texas. Took it out of the frame. Turns out that it's actually a four-page Menu. Now, menus are pretty good. We do we do pretty well with menus sometimes. So that's probably going to sell about for twenty or twenty five dollars. That's what we'll ask for it anyway. Couldn't find any exact. Bought thirty one super super clean Blu rays for twenty dollars. These will go to the flea market, and we sell them three dollars a piece or five for ten. So that'll turn into you know sixty or seventy dollars at the flea market for us. We found this vintage Sora band. This is probably from the early, late 40s, early 50s. Um, and it's an original box. It's an abacus. Japanese call them Sora bands. Anyway, this is really neat. It was a dollar and that should sell for 25 or so. We've sold a bunch of these in the past. And this is a pretty nice one in, in its original box. So you won't have any trouble. You know I love new old stock. So here's the next two items. I didn't really, I mean, I know what they are. They're handlebar risers for motorcycle. I didn't even bother looking them up. I'm looking at Victory. I'm looking at Motorcycle. I'm looking at Chrome, new in a package. They were $5. Turns out they sell in about a $40 range. More new old stock. doTERRA Family Essentials Kit. Essential oils. And I walked right by them. My wife found them. Again, nice to have two sets of eyes out there. These sell in the $80 to $100 range sealed like this. <laughs> Who knew, right? But again, you know, when you see new old stock... Doesn't hurt to do a quick bit of research. It's super easy to sell that stuff. That's why I like it. Not a lot of description. Not a lot of returns because it is what it is. It's new. Of course, I always buy softballs. These were $2 and they sell for about $25 to four brand new softballs. That's pretty good. We got a couple of Coleman lanterns for $2 a piece. And this is 1986. It's got a little, little scratched up there. And this will either probably go to the flea market. We seem to be able to get about $20 for them there. I'll light it up and test it. And this other one was in a box. And I pulled it out of the box to see. You know, the box is pretty beat up. So I was thinking, ah, well, you know, another used lantern. That thing's brand new. 
hasn't even been fired, hasn't even been taken out of his packaging yet. So that's 50 to 75 dollars. I got to clean it up a little bit more. There's some dust in there, but anyway, the box is open, so it got dusty. But that's you know, for two dollars, that's a 50 to 75 dollar lamp lantern. It came with this little pourer spout. This thing screws right onto a Coleman gallon Coleman fuel can, and I'm not going to sell it with the lantern because as they say you know accessories are sold separately so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it with this coleman this vintage coleman filter that i had i got it in the box and those sell for about 15 or 20 dollars these sell for about 15 dollars so i'm going to build myself up a nice little 25 dollar lot with those two pieces that, that would be an easy sell more new old stock we got a brand new ninja storm it's one of those mini blenders Brand new in the box. They're selling. This is five dollars. They're selling for in the forty dollar range plus shipping. Thirty to forty dollars for shipping. Here's an item that I'm going to have to put at auction because I can't find any comps. It's a, an old wooden cigar box, which is not in itself very exciting, but when you open it up, it's almost full. That was cigars, of course. That'd be even more exciting. But with these little glass containers you know, with the advertising inside of them. So well, that's the kind of item that's going to end up at auction. That was $3. We did really, really good. We bought 80 records, and I'm not going to go through those all right now, but suffice it to say these 80 records are worth right around $1,000. I'm just going to give you one example of one that we found. One of these sold at $158.49 with bids. Um, anyway, that's in a separate video. You can look that up. We also bought a bunch of cassette tapes and again, in a separate video, we paid $20 for this lot of 37 or 8 and we can get $150 to $200 out of those. I'll just show you a quick example of what I'm talking about. This is a Blue Oyster Cult, and one sold for $22, just one single cassette tape. It's in excellent condition, none out there right now, so I can put that out for $25 to $30 and expect to get it. Okay, we also bought a couple of fishing reels. This is six dollars total. One is a per pen pursuit, and pen's a pretty good name. I always look for those. For some reason, this is not one of their better ones. This is going to go to the flea market for ten dollars. And this one is just kind of a generic rod and reel combo that'll go to the flea market for ten dollars. There's nothing special about that, but the six dollars for the two will bring them at the flea market for twenty. Got this great pair of teal Converse All-Star sneakers. Really nice condition. These were $5. And they're selling in the $30 to $40 range without much trouble. Plus shipping. Bought these three things of Flex Seal for $10. And that lot can sell for about $40 to $45 on eBay. This is a neat little item. $0.50. Cents. And I picked it up because it said Jurassic Park. Of course, a pretty famous movie. I can't find one of these little leather buggers anywhere. So that's the kind of item that we put up for auction. We'll see what happens. It's really, you know, pretty nice. But there are none out there. I got the only one. So that's the kind of thing that goes to auction. Of course, I'm buying baseballs, right? I don't know much about baseball, but I did a Google lens search on this logo and found out that the Butte Central Maroons. So... For $4, I got a dozen NCAA balls. Now, I'm not expecting to get $10 a piece for them, but I'll certainly get $5 to $7 a piece for the, in, the, in the dozen. So that's pretty good. And there were five other uh, baseballs that will go into our $2 to $3 lot. You got this hat. Looks like just a generic hat, I know. And, and, you know, if you watch our videos, you know we like hats. The reason I picked this one up is because it's a Woolrich hat, which is a great outdoor name, and it's also lined. And these are about 20 or $25 on line. So that was a pretty good find for a dollar. All right, this next lot was a great find. There was a big box full of cameras and stuff like that. And they said, make an offer. And we came. I didn't even look through it. I could just tell I wanted to buy it. And I paid $100 for the whole thing. And check out what we got. This is really cool. If you can see... These old folding cameras. This one is sells for fifty to a hundred and closer to a hundred because it's got the red bellows. 
It's the same with this one. All these cameras, they're clearly marked, so they're really easy to look them up and find examples of what they sold for. And this one's 100 See, I can't find this exact one, but very, very similar ones with the red bellows, um, 100 plus or minus. This partially used 8 millimeter movie film reel. They sell for about $20. One of these Mercury flash units sold for $25, and I've got two of them. I can sell that. Here's a Mercury camera in the box with the instruction manual with the leather case a little beat up. Now, you know, I'm not going to sell these cameras as working. I'm going to sell them as, I don't know, a state find. A state find, Because I'm not going to spend a week trying to figure out how to work all these things. I don't know anything about them. But, again, I know how to look them up. So I'm going to sell them as, as is, as found, a state, a state find. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. So this one's kind of an enigma. It's a Zeiss Icon case. And it says semi-sport over here. And I can't find any of these. But I find similar ones, especially with, with this brand of lens on it. Someone's asking $329 for one. So I'm assuming this is between $100 and $200. I'm going to save the best for last. Hang on. So got one, two, three, four, eight other items that would sell, you know, in the $15 or $20 range. These are the ones we're going to bring to the flea market for $10. This is just great $10 flea market fodder. We have... A whole bunch of just assorted smaller items that'll go in the three dollars each. So, if you're ever looking at old cameras and you see this brand name Leica, pay attention and check it out. This one right here sells between five and eight hundred dollars. Bingo score. So, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that $100 lot of cameras. Like I also like to show you, you know, we buy stuff for ourselves while we're out, and here's what we picked up. You know, my theory is saving money is the same as making money. Now, we're redoing the bathroom, and although this isn't an awesome one, it costs $4 and not, you know, $29. So that's a good savings. We just got some kayaks, and we need to hang them in the garage, and here we go. This is a dollar for these two sets of hooks. And I play softball. I got myself a nice pair of Nike Viper cleats. Very little use. And those were $3. And if you see this nice chair, we actually got a matching pair of those for $75 in their recliners. We had an awesome weekend. Bought a lot of good stuff. Going to make a bunch of money with it. I hope you're enjoying these videos. Giving you some idea of the types of things to keep your eye open for. You can see we're getting a little overloaded with inventory, but I'm working on it. Yeah, so please subscribe, hit the button or hit the bell, and you'll know when we put up more. Follow along and make some money with us. Okay, thanks for watching. Till next time.